what's going on with the protests at the Apex Summit. And this is our live look here at 5th and Mission Streets, only a block away uh, from the Apex Summit in Moscone Center where it's happening. And you can see these protesters forming a link, a chain link blockage of the entrance. So uh, there are police there as well, but, you know, they need to let Apex conference members in. So it's causing a problem because they yeah. can't get past these people. And just to orient you, behind this camera is the San Francisco Chronicle building. In front of this camera, just off to the right, is that 5th and Mission garage, which, as Daria said, is just a block away from the Moscone Center. So you can see here the protesters have linked arms, forming a, a human wall. Uh, we know that to the left of the camera position, when it's panned over that way, we've seen other police lining up across the street, creating a barrier of their own. And it's unclear exactly what their intention is, if it's just to contain the protesters where they are, or if it's at some point to march down the street and try and disperse the crowd. But up to this point, the crowd has been peaceful. We have no indication that anybody has been violent. So at this point, they're just demonstrating, they're rallying, they're trying to get their voices heard to all of those in attendance at APEC, which includes a number of world leaders, including, including President Joe Biden. Typically, they're not going to be arrests until they make, you know, usually, and this happened earlier this week, there was a big protest with hundreds of people, and the police made federal uh, security agents made an announcement. Mm -hmm. And they tell you what to do, and then if you don't do it, then there becomes, you know, okay, now we're going to detain you. But right. there there's no move at all to touch these people. Uh, you can see the police standing back, although they have kind of had to scoot them aside to get, we've seen people go by and get into the summit. Conference goers. Uh, yeah, so they've been able to go down the sidewalk, so that's going to become the question is, it, at some point are people not able to get through into the summit? This is a better look. So there you, you go. You see the size of the crowd. Yeah. It's unclear. We haven't been able to see with signs or anything else what some of their causes are. There you see the Palestinian flag, mm. so so you have some that are there rallying for peace in the Middle East. But we know that earlier this week we had thousands of protesters marching down uh, the, you know, from the Embarcadero Plaza to the Moscone Center. They had a unifying banner called No to APEC, and it was made up of about 150 different grassroots organizations, all with various grievances and messages that they wanted uh, to make, you know, clear to the APEC conference goers. So this could very well be the same situation where we have a, a kaleidoscope of causes out there in unison during the apex summit now one place that we know the message is more unified is out where will tran is because we're waiting just a couple hours from now china's president will meet with uh, president biden and so uh, people who are opposed to uh the chinese leader uh president xi and what he's doing they're out there and the chinese in communist party unified against that yeah this this clearly there are many of people uh uh, demonstrating about the Israel Hamas war, mm -hmm. um, but over by Will, it's more uh, against uh, the Chinese dictator. So we're kind of keeping our eye on both protests right. live, what's going on, because this is a huge day at the summit with this unprecedented historic yeah. meeting between President Biden and President Xi. And what's interesting is you can see here they're linked arms to span the street, mm -hmm. and directly opposite them is police forming a similar human wall as well, almost as if it's a standoff with both sides staring at each other to see who will flinch first. Hopefully it doesn't Yeah, they stay in their places, like everything will be fine. Yes. But that's something we're going to keep our eye on. So we'll be back with more live coverage in just a few minutes.